Hello, Chris Temple here with Indie Rebel, Hollywood effects without the Hollywood budget. Today, we've got kind of just a really quick tip I'm gonna show you, and that's how to recreate the wiggle expression from After Effects here inside of DaVinci Resolve Fusion. This also works in Fusion Studio as well too. When I talk with other filmmakers that are wanting to make the switch from AE over to Fusion, one of the things that they have a hard time giving up is this thought that, oh, I won't have access to my expressions anymore, and like Wiggle, I use Wiggle all the time. And that's usually because they followed, you know, Andrew Kramer tutorials at videocopilot.net. I did the same thing, that's how I learned After Effects back in the day, and he uses Wiggle all the time. And it's very useful. You can use it to basically uh, randomize your parameters back and forth and create this really nice organic effect. So in order to illustrate this concept on how we're going to do that here in Fusion, which is very easy, by the way, um, I just built a really quick little happy face on top of a blue sky background. Okay, just a couple of ellipse masks, and uh, that's all it took. So it's very, very simple. Not a lot going on with it. And we wanted to make it look like that this guy is slowly getting more and more caffeinated. He's gonna start off normal, and then he's gonna start kind of shivering around, and then he's gonna start bouncing off the walls. And we can do that with a single implementation of what you would normally call Wiggle. And as you're gonna see, this is actually more powerful than Wiggle because of all the control that it gives us. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to just go ahead and really quick add a transform node. And I'm gonna put it down here below so we can see it separately. And what I wanna do is I want to quote unquote wiggle the center control because if I move this side to side, okay, that's what's controlling that. And this one's controlling the up and down. And I want to randomize them in tandem so they're both being randomized at the same time. So let's see how we would do that. Instead of adding an expression, which Fusion will let you do, we want to go to modify with and use this one called Perturb. I don't really know what it stands for. I don't know the math behind it, but I do know that when I apply that modifier and I go back to the beginning and play this, now I've got the happy face randomly moving around the screen. Okay, it's completely random and procedural. So you may be thinking, well, I want it to be a little bit faster and I want to you know, start controlling aspects of this and keyframe them, and we can do that. So let's go back to the beginning here. Over here now, we have this option for modifiers in our tool settings. And this now gives me access to that perturb modifier that I added. And what I can do with this, if uh, I'll just play this so you can see, I can now start controlling different aspects. I can control the strength, which puts them way far away, the speed, how fast it's going. Okay, if I wanna add any extra w wobble and jitter into it as well, we can do all that from here. One of my favorite aspects is the scale function. If I only wanted to be really focused on going up and down, I can increase the Y scale. And you see it's really going up. If I bring this back, actually here, let's turn Y down and then X up, now it's focused on the side to side and it's randomized, okay? So if we start running this all in tandem together, let's turn the strength way down to like something like that, the wobble up, the speed up, Okay, now we can see he's starting to get a little bit excited here. So maybe I want that to be the caffeine's just starting to kick in. What's cool is because I have these parameters, look, they're all keyframable. So I can come into my strength and, uh, you know, I'd say, okay, that's where I want that to be at that point in time. Let's go back to the beginning. I'm going to turn my strength all the way down so there's no wobble going on. And then right about through here, I want it to start going a little bit more. And then let's see what the speed's looking like here. So let's play this from the beginning. Nothing, starts getting it, and then he starts getting even bigger with it. Okay. And then we'll just go and modify these a little bit more. Maybe something like that. And now we've got this really nice effect that begins to come in. Now, because it's tied directly to the transform tool, and if I come back to the tools, we can see it is actually controlling and randomizing that center function there. It's just like applying an expression to it. This means I can also come in and add motion blur. We'll crank that up, make it look good. And now we start getting a really nice effect out of that. And you can see he's just literally bouncing off the walls. And we were able to ease it in and fade it in, which is not something you could easily do with the wiggle command in AE. 
Now I've shown you how we can apply it to basic parameters here, like the center control, but we can also use it to animate other things. So let's have put some fog and mist on top of it. Let's go ahead and add a fast noise. Take a look at it. And I'm just gonna quickly modify the colors here so we can see it better. Turn up the detail and the contrast a little bit, something like that. If I wanted to animate this, you know, we have the, the seed rate and we could do it here, but it can be really hard to find the right amount of keyframing for that in order to animate seethe over time. So it would stand to reason that, hey, maybe I can do the same thing here. Modify with, perturb, and if we go back to the beginning and play it, I can see it is actually doing that. Bounce back to our modifiers. Here we are in our controls, and we can start really trying to dial the sucker in. And after playing with it a bit, I start to get this effect, which gives me kind of that smoky, airy fog look. Okay, so these were the settings I used in case you want to copy that at home. And now we can merge this on top of the shot. Take a look at the merge and uh, set the merge to screen. Turn down the blend. Go back to the beginning. And now I've got kind of a smoky atmosphere going on behind my uh, caffeinated happy face that's going off the walls. He's very excited for the rollback deals at Walmart. So. That is our little quick tip for the day. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And just remember to perturb whenever you want to wiggle. I'm Chris Temple and you've been watching Indie Rebel, Hollywood effects without the Hollywood budget.